for this position, what we're going to do is when they go to lace my leg and start to work to uh, take apart my knee shield half guard. Okay. So I'm still keeping my knee shield high. I can't allow my knees to become together. That's going to allow a good sprawl with Ryan and, and get those hips back. So I keep my knee high and I'm still establishing that grip. From this position, I have to control the tricep at this point. What I'm going to do is kick my leg straight and bring it up to his, my knee up to his shoulder. Very similar, I can attack a straight arm lock here, but pushing my head back is going to allow me to get a good grip. Even if Ryan's trying to get posture here, my knee is preventing that. My hand is going to be easily able to slide across. I can still adjust, and once I get to that position, I'm right back into my butterfly, pulling over the top to finish the choke, okay? So again, from this position, as Ryan goes to lace my leg, the first thing I need to do is keep my leg high. I'm still controlling the wrist on the far side and I've got a thumb inside grip. I'm gonna take my grip to his tricep, close to the elbow. As I kick this leg, I bring my knee up over the top, pinching my feet together, controlling this near side leg from passing. Now that I've got control, I can open up his grip, my head can come back and I get four fingers inside of his collar and come back to his tricep. Foot pummels back around. Now I'm able to initiate that choke. I use my bottom knee to help lift him up. Pummel underneath the arm. As I hip escape away, sitting up to my elbow, keeping my head higher than Ryan's, pushing with my chest like a row, finishing the choke. So for this variation, when they go to try to take apart the knee shield, by lacing it and then smashing your knees together, you're bringing that leg out, controlling that near side leg, pinching, and then establishing your grip. Once your grip is established, you're pummeling that up foot back around to the butterfly and then initiating the choke.